familiar with the famous sage, the founder of the Hasidic movement, the Baal Shem Tov, Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tov. Once he was sitting with his students and he was teaching them the concept that everything that we see or hear in this world is something that is associated with our mission upon this world. That was his teaching. And as they were traveling, it was the winter time in Russia, and they saw by the riverbank the way peasants were chopping out an idol out of the ice. So the students became disconsolate, sad. What did they, in light of the teaching of their Rebbe, have to do with idolatry, with seeing an idol being created? And so they turned to the Baal Shem Tov and they asked him, Rebbe, what is it that we have to do with idolatry? You told us that everything that we see or hear is part of our mission in life and has to do with our mission in life. What do we have to do with idolatry? So the Baal Shem Tov thought for a minute and he said to them as follows. Water, which is the source of life, it nourishes, it makes things grow. Without water, we cannot live. When it becomes cold and frozen, then it can even be turned into an idol. The Torah is compared to water. If our Torah life, our learning, our knowledge of Torah is cold and apathetic, then it can even be turned into the opposite of holiness. There is a need for warmth, there's a need for enthusiasm, there's a need for life, and that is what water is. So being that this is Super Bowl Sunday coming up, and uh, America goes into a tizzy when it comes to uh, the Super Bowl, and it's going to be in Miami, so for sure it's going to be in a tizzy, and all the Jewish students are, I'm sure, going to be tuned in. Right, Ben and Sam? <laughs> I don't know if with a, be a beer or with a uh, pretzels, but whatever the case is, it'll be kosher. These students at Chabad House here do follow the kosher laws and at Young Israel. So, what does the Super Bowl teach us then? And I wanted to share a few insights with you, all of you here gathered at the Yud Shvat Fabrengen. In order to win, you have to get points. You gotta get points on the board. They gotta be scored, and how are they scored? Through a touchdown or a field goal, or a safety even. We've seen that happen too rarely, but it happens. But there are much more than just three ways how to score Jewish points. God has given us many ways how to score points. We are in a game here in this world. Our goal is to make of this world a dwelling place for God. That was the purpose why he created the universe, why he gave us all the opportunities to have everything that we need. So he gave us ways how to go ahead and score points. And those are the mitzvot, the commandments of God. 